As most parents and guardians are aware, we have submitted our East Syracuse Manoa reopening of school plan to New York State. We engaged many stakeholder groups to develop our reopening plan and received more than 7,000 responses from parent and staff questionnaires. Our plan provides live, interactive distance learning five days per week for all families who request this learning model. Students will connect live with teachers every day and follow a schedule. The plan also provides in-person instruction five days a week for families who prefer this option. However, based on parent request, if we exceed our capacity for in-person learning, then we will need to implement what is called a hybrid model. Students would attend two days in person and have three days of distance learning. But families that choose all distance learning will still follow that model. We plan a phase-in schedule and all students will start the school year with distance learning. We will then transition to each family's preferred model. Our plan provides for safe distancing for our students and staff while on the bus and at school. Parents choosing in-person learning will complete an online health screening each day prior to their child boarding the bus or being dropped off or walking to school. ESM will follow bus mandates that allow one student per seat sitting next to the window. Children from the same household will sit together and share a seat. As you can see, this reduces our transportation capacity. Instead of a maximum of 66 passengers, each large bus will see approximately 22 to 30 riders. When weather permits, windows will be open as well as the rooftop vents. Students will receive training on new bus safety procedures. Those who are physically able must wear a mask at all times and use social distancing while entering, riding, and exiting the bus. The entire bus will be cleaned and disinfected at least once each day. High contact spots will be cleaned after each bus run. We are also making changes in our classroom. Here's an example of the spacing you can expect within our learning environments. This shows a socially distanced layout of six feet per individual. Teachers will remain in their instructional space while students will stay within their designated social space. We expect to be at less than 50% capacity of a typical classroom. Students and staff will wear masks and take mask breaks. Surfaces will be cleaned and disinfected as mandated. By August 14th, we will ask parents and guardians to confirm their choice of learning model for their child or children for the 2021 school year. The questionnaire will ask a few very important questions. Do you choose in-person instruction or distance learning for your child? And for those choosing in-person instruction, will your child need school transportation? This information is critical for ESM to plan for the upcoming school year. The first opportunity for families to change their learning model will be after the second marking period in February. We hope this brief video provided some visuals to help with your decision on distance or in-person learning for your child or children. Keep in mind that both choices will offer meal options. Our principals are providing information to families that is specific to each ESM school. Parents and guardians will also have an opportunity to ask questions and seek clarification on the available learning models. As always, thank you for your support and understanding during these difficult and trying times.